Yeah, they go with uh, how will these new burdens on firms help growth? Question mark. They say that Labour's workers' rights revolution will cost jobs and, and choke uh, growth. This is part of the problem with capitalism, I suppose. If you if you want to maximise growth, yeah. you actually don't want workers to have any rights. You could really do some good stuff then. So it's true to say more rights will impact growth. But well, it's the sweet spot that we're after as a society. Is that quite right? Capitalism, some would say its heyday was under Henry Ford's management of the... Uh, of the great car plants in Detroit, part of his calculation was that he had to pay the workers enough that they could afford to buy cars. Yeah, that's his decision. It's not their right. Yeah, not a yeah. right, but you encourage the, the workers to have decent standard of living. And yeah, then they're, but if they're... you want to be a business that's massively flexible so that you can hire staff, get rid of staff, zero-hours contracts can be good on both sides, but they're definitely good for the business. Yes. I'm just trying, you know, I'm just Are saying... they, though? Because people might work better. They might consider themselves more... Uh, emotionally involved, more but motivated. If a company thought it's better to not give a zero hours contract, it wouldn't do because okay. they have the right to offer those different contracts. That is Labour true. is, if you boil it down to rights, but that's like the Daily Mail has just gone on that. They're avoiding some of the other bills. We'll talk conversion therapy later because there's a whole section on that. Of course yep. there is. Have you seen this show before? Um, I think some of the best ones that the uh, the King mentioned, he didn't write it himself, but um, they, because 40 bills. Yes. With the majority that Labour's got, they could get these all through. They Worst case scenario, get slowed down by the House of Lords. Maybe that one where they get rid of hereditary peers. Of the House they, of Lords, yeah. they yeah. might <laughs> mention that a few times. But my favourite one is the Budget Responsibility Bill, known as the Liz Truss Bill, where they're making it illegal for anyone to do a Liz Truss again. Imagine that as a legacy, that you're known, you've got a bill named after you because yes. we don't want people to be able to do what and you And yet did. you're still alive. That's quite unusual. Yeah. Nick? Yeah, I mean, it's a good point. Steve says the king doesn't write it. Similar defence to your auto, <laughs> auto cue based defence. Um, I, I hated most of it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff about equality, as the males picked up on. There was sort of the creation of fake climate jobs, I'm paraphrasing. There was the uh, scrapping of the no-fault eviction for landlords, which seems a crazy idea to me. Conversion therapy, as you say. Ukraine getting a path to NATO membership also seems dangerous. Resetting relations with European partners means Stan wants to go back in the EU. Working on a two-state solution in the Middle East, Fine, it, but it's never worked. No hereditary peers, I'm against that. More female bishops in the House of Lords. You say, sorry, you're against L the change or you're against hereditary peers? I'm against the change, yeah. Okay, I want yeah. things to be as traditional and old-fashioned as possible, I even though they help, don't help me at all. The funny thing is, they the House help of the Lords, it is obviously irrational and it's stupid, and, may, and possibly it's not the most important legislation, but it has not been bad, has it? It's actually worked quite well. They, they tend to know to keep quiet unless it's something they know about, like grouse shooting or something. Yeah. But the idea of, like, your, your dad or your granddad was really good, so you should get a say in things, yeah. it is flawed, isn't it? It's not the main thing in the speech. I mean, I'd be more yeah. worried about almost everything else. I mean, they're getting more female bishops in the House of Lords. Is that, is that important that enough too. to be in the... Oh, why is that? Hate Quite women. Get rid of all the bishops from the House of Lords. Why do they suddenly get a pass into That it? is the odd thing. I, w I would, but only because they're woke. If they were, and yeah. I'd just make it all <laughs> bishops. <laughs> they call the House of Bishops. At one time, the, the bishops were the, the most reliable sea anchor against reform and progression that there was, wasn't it? But nowadays, they, they're less reliable. I, 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 obviously, the, you, you couldn't reverse engineer the House of Lords, but it, you know, it's like a constitutional monarchy. Bishops are very progressive, given they can only move diagonally. Yeah. I just thought of that. <laughs> a chess joke, guys, That's at 5 a.m. Quite well known, that joke. Is it? Yeah. Well, oh, I you, take it back. You're in that joke, but you know, not in the House of Lords.